You know, I think it's important as I step into the Senate and this uh, this new responsibility to lay out my priorities and my perspectives. I'm not worried about what other people think about what I have to say. Some people said, well, you should have waited a couple of months or four months. I'm not sure what makes special uh, uh, one time versus another, other than to do your, your very best from the beginning to describe uh, what's important to you. That was now Senator Mitt Romney earlier today talking about his latest critique of President Trump. This came out in the form of that op-ed published on the eve of his taking his seat in the Senate. Romney said, Romney said Trump, quote, has not risen to the mantle of the office. And he expressed concerns about the president's character and competence. Former governor of Massachusetts, the 2012 Republican presidential nominee, is now a freshman senator from the great state of Utah. His stature within his party means that his criticism of his president may carry a lot more weight, and it certainly has already caused great consternation. If he fought really hard against President Obama, like he does against me. He would have won the election. As party chair, not as Mitt's niece, I just wanted to point out that this is what Democrats want. They want to see infighting with our party. And Why he would pick his uh, very first venture to be an attack on the Republican president. Oh, and it's like, look at me, how virtuous I am, and, and I'm going to bring down the presidency by, by criticizing his character in front of the whole nation. The Associated Press also reports that some Republican Party members are concerned that Mitt Romney's op-ed could embolden possible challengers to Trump in 2020. And look at the man they have focused on in that photo. And they are looking for ways to protect Trump's candidacy. The people around him are. With us to talk about it, Rick Wilson, proud Floridian, proud never-Trumper. He is a veteran Republican strategist whose latest book is called Everything Trump Touches Dies. Bill Kristol, veteran of the Reagan and Bush administrations, also a longtime journalist who co-founded the Weekly Standard, the demise of which we covered during Bill's last appearance on this broadcast. Gentlemen, uh, thank you both for coming on. I'd like to ask you pretty much versions of the same question. And Rick, we'll start with you. It seems to sure. me that Mitt Romney may be in a very rare position right now in American politics. He may be close to bulletproof in Washington, D.C. Start of a six-year mm -hmm. term, public-minded man who is part of royalty in his home state. He has a unique public name uh, in this country, and I just think this period is going to be very interesting. Uh, Brian, I think you're exactly right there. Mitt Romney has a, a, a position of power in the Senate for, for two big reasons. One, he's unbribable and he can't be browbeaten down like a lot of other uh, opponents of Donald Trump or people who are concerned about Donald Trump's style and the damage he's done to the Republican Party. You can't you know, you, Donald Trump can't say, I'll destroy you, Mitt Romney. By the time Donald Trump decides to destroy Mitt Romney, he'll be out of office. And so Mitt Romney's in a position of unique power, and all senators have a unique degree of power that many of them ignore and, and have walked away from. They're not just employees of the Trump organization and working in the U.S. Senate. They are representatives of their several states, and Mitt Romney gets that. He is the senator from Utah and is going to reflect the values of his state. And, and reflect the virtues of his state. And he's not going to be silent about the things that Donald Trump says, does, and, 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 and the behaviors he displays that are anathema to those things. And as a leader in the conservative movement, I think Mitt Romney has a big opportunity to be a voice and an example and a contrast every day to Donald Trump. Uh, and Bill Kristol, same question. Yeah, I'd emphasize one other thing. I think Romney has said will have some effects on his fellow senators. He'll be an important and influential senator, though, though a freshman. Um, but I'd say, think about 2020. If you read Mitt Romney's op-ed, you really can't conclude that Mitt Romney thinks Donald Trump should be renominated as the Republican nominee for president or really reelected. You, you might think that Trump won in 2016. What happened, happened. They've got to work with him. As Romney says this in the op-ed, support policies you agree with. Criticize Trump when you disagree. That's sort of what he does as a senator. But as a Republican leader, as a former nominee, presidential nominee himself, I think what Romney's op-ed has done is make it legitimate to say, wait a second, whatever your position on the tax cuts or the judges or yep. even what, whatever you voted, whoever you voted for in 2016, do you really want to renominate this guy in 2020? So Romney is really, I don't know that he himself will run. He probably won't. But he's open to 
opened up the possibility of a primary challenge, legitimized the possibility of a primary challenge to Donald Trump uh, in 2020 in a way that's pretty remarkable and pretty important, I think. Rick, I want to play for you what uh, Robert Costa of The Washington Post said on this network during our 7 p.m. Eastern time hour tonight about some of the others in the party. People are starting to talk more in the GOP about are there going to have to be options for 2020. Talking to senators today, they say they're keeping a close eye on the senators who just retired, Senator Corker of Tennessee and Senator Flake of Arizona. Now, they don't have the political capital, the stature of Senator Romney inside of the Republican Party. But if they start heading to Iowa or New Hampshire, I think some senators, maybe not pr publicly yet, are going to at least listen. So, Rick, I suggested today sure. that we have embeds working at all the major car rental car, uh, uh, counters in the state of <laughs> Iowa to spot these people if they travel there. Obviously, add Kasich to the list. But uh, to sure. Bill's point, Rick, it, it does it gives a little bit of air cover. I agree with that, Brian. And, and what you have in, in all situations like this, authoritarian types like Trump, they want a hermetically sealed process where only they can be nominated. And that's why, you know, it's the Saddam Hussein, oh, he won 105 percent of the election. That's not what we're going to get if if serious people start to contend against Trump. And look, will they win? It's a high hill to climb. But they're sending a signal that they're willing to go out and compete. They're willing to go out and fight and they're willing to go out there and put their names on the line because they recognize that Donald Trump for set aside the ephemeral things. This is a man who displays all the time how unqualified and unready he is to be president. Uh, Bill, there will be no uh, single moment where this new senator from Utah may be called upon to prove his worth then um, <clears throat> after we hear from Robert Mueller or anything to do with the protection of Robert Mueller, that's when it seems to me uh, it's going to be critical to hear from Mitt Romney. No, I think that's a very good point, Brad. I was talking with someone who's been close to Mitt Romney for many, many years. I don't know that he had talked to him about this in particular, but we were sort of thinking ahead about what could happen. And he made exactly that point, that both the, in terms of legislation to protect Mueller, perhaps, if there are attempts to interfere by Whitaker or by Trump himself, but also what if there's a serious Mueller report, I mean, that says there are at least grounds to consider impeachment. And Democrats start to say, well, I think we have to look at this. The instinctive Republican reaction, I suppose, among Trump, Trump Republicans, at least, will be to say, rubbish, you know, the report's illegitimate, angry Democrats, witch hunt, and now they're, this is totally, you know, uh, uncalled for. Someone like Mitt Romney stands up, even though he's in the Senate, not the House, where impeachment would begin, and says, well, wait a second, we need to have a serious consideration of this. It gives a kind of legitimacy, again, to something yeah. that uh, not maybe most Republicans don't go with Romney, but to a quarter or a third in the country or in the House or in the Senate. It really changes the dynamic, I think, to have Romney there. And what he signaled with that op-ed is that he's, he wants to change the dynamic. He's not happy with the way Republicans on the Hill behave for the first two years of the Trump presidency. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.